Yo ninjas, welcome back to the show, Ninja Bucks, Ishtar Doing, and what did you eat today? Yes, welcome back to another episode of Drawing Some Stuff with you ninjas. Yes, so right now we're gonna draw a Charizard, but to make it more interesting, gonna mix it. I uh, had the intent to make a ghost Charizard, like a fire ghost type, yet he still has his wings in this drawing. Um, so he's actually ghost fire flying maybe. So this drawing was made... Well, when you see it, it's already uh, been Pokemon Day, but this drawing was made for Pokemon Day. I finished the sketching and the uh, inking on the live stream on Pokemon Day itself, because on the 27th of February, they uh, celebrate that the first games of Pokemon uh, ever existed, like when it came out. So that's the reason why I drew it, and also Charizard is my number one favorite Pokemon of all time still, and I really like Ghost Pokemon as well. For example, Haunter and Gengar. So in this nice. drawing, I uh, had to figure out how to make this drawing happen. So if Charizard becomes then Fire Ghost, or Fire Ghost Flying. Ghost Flying? That, that might be interesting, yeah. Like, or mixing Haunter with a Charizard, sort of. Ghost Charizard. How does it? Look like. So as always, uh, let's just get into the drawing and I talk a bit out about the process <laughs> and how I got introduced with Pokemon itself and still am uh, a fan of it. So yeah, and also let me your comments down below what your favorite Pokemon is. Like your six favorite, your favorite team for example. <laughs> My number one is at least Charizard and probably Haunter or Gengar as well in my team. But yeah, let's talk about it. So in the first thing of this process of making this piece, I had to figure out uh, how to draw the Charizard. So I first made a sketch as most of the times with pencil and had to figure out how it's gonna look like because there are so many Charizards. Um, yeah, I was just saying that like, <laughs> if Charizard is like mixed with Hunter, <laughs> does he also have the tongue? But I think it looks, uh, <laughs> it might be funny. Like I just typed in Google Charizard and search for some reference and also with Haunter and uh, Cubone because the Alolan Cubone, well I typed Alolan Cubone, uh, is like also fire ghost. So he has this cool flame on his bone that he spins, um, but it's like green with yellowish kind of color. So I was trying to figure out, um, got some, yeah, finding some inspiration in that as well. So, making the sketch work, searched for some reference of Charizard and trying to figure out the pose and everything, how it's gonna look like. So I kinda used the standard um, sort of Charizard pose. And also on the live stream um, was coming at the claws of the Charizard. But since he's also mixed with Haunter, I was thinking about like, okay, maybe his claws, his uh, front claws, you know, his hands basically, um, should they be like flying, like with Hunter? Because Hunter's body and arms, he has no arms because the hands are like floating separately from the body. And also Ray agreed on the live stream, so I did make the... Not make the arm basically, so that the Charizard's arm is floating like in front of him, like uh, like with Hunter, to make it Hunter-like. Um, so it's like, uh, yeah, to make this Charizard ghost fire type. So that's how I uh, got with um, the sketching part. And I tried to make the claws a bit more sharp and stuff, make it like ghost-ish. With Charizard because that's the intent of this drawing to not make like this standard fan art like just a Charizard making it in my own kind of how I draw but also like mix another element in it maybe someone already uh, did this like most likely on the interweb because Pokemon is so famous and there is so much fan art going on this so probably if you search online you have like already a mix of this uh, I'm not sure if it looks exactly the same there was also this app or something on the on the website where you can fusion like any Pokemon with each other, so you can choose 
or the first 150 I believe you can mix them but um, yeah this is this is how I mixed it um, not seeing other people's reference yet maybe someone makes something made something similar like this um, but for this one uh, yeah this is how I did it and also on the head like I made more of the spiky um, like since Charizard already has two like horns but uh, Hunter also has these types of horns I I kind of just adapted that in, on his head to make it the gun uh, hunter future and also with the teeth like uh, you have these hunter teeth that hunter has I also put the that in a Charizard's jaw without the line separating like lips and 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 teeth so that's what I basically adapted into this sketch as well and also the tongue of course that was a funny thing to actually make Charizard with it like this tongue uh. so that was a uh, fun to do as well on the belly I made it more flamish like or a bit different ish sort of flame um, yeah I had to go through some process to get to this point and then yeah when the sketch is done uh, always inking it you know like uh, most of the times just inking the piece with uh, the G pen in this time with a light table I got an A4 sized uh, new light table that's more flat so it's uh, more handy to like lay your hand on there and not uh, yeah, it's easier to ink basically because it's a flat light table uh, and yeah with the G pen ink like most of the times when I'm inking um, but at first I drew the Charizard sketch on a thicker paper because I thought like okay let's just use one paper just one paper um, with a sketch then ink it erase the ink with the eraser and then color right on top of it but in the end I thought wait a second maybe I should not do that and still do this previous process like just sketch on the paper then trace over on a separate paper a bit 160 grams uh, paper for the inking part to trace it and then scan in the traced part the inked part with the G pen on the printer in the printer then copy make a copy of it on copic marker paper and then color it with markers in this case uh, I use twin markers most of the time a little bit of that brush uh, pen and a little a little bit in the flames of copic marker but I don't want to use copic marker in this one because I don't want to spend too much copic marker in these pieces because I'm saving that for my main series party time uh, the manga series because those copic marks are really expensive and the twin markers not that much but they still can make great quality uh, if you keep I, I think it can g give great quality you know and yeah, it's just your opinion if it's great or not but uh, yeah that's how I got um, also with the coloring process of this piece and uh, yeah so let's get a little bit also in the story of Pokemon how I got introduced by it well nice. most of it I think I got introduced by with Pokemon because of the anime the cartoon that was aired uh, back in the days in the 90s uh, when I went to school like when I was little ninja I was like we had to go uh, we had to be at school at 8 30 a.m. Uh, in the morning and before that like you had to um, dress up you know to go to school but and then eat breakfast or if you did that uh, I did eat breakfast most of the time like uh, bread with uh, um, chocolate sprinkles I believe from what I remember and then also watching Pokemon like before going to school so that was like one of those um, rituals you know <laughs> when I was little ninja and then going to school and then later or at the same time maybe the same time also came the game of course um, the Pokemon game I got red my favorite with Charizard and then also got blue and even my ninja mother played uh, on blue and we traded later also got yellow and all that stuff it was really fun you know also got this book with it you know this um, sort of at what level each Pokemon evolves or what to trade to get which Pokemon um, yeah and then also came the card games where I, where I was also addicted with I got even uh, sometimes doubles and just just threw them <laughs> at the playground or something or were for people that wanted it um, yeah I still have those cards somewhere too bad they are I think in Dutch so Maybe that they are not worth that much anymore, but uh, yeah, I did got the shiny uh, Charizard. I got the first 150 cards, I believe, uh, complete, but I think it's in Dutch, so that sucks a bit, I guess. <laughs> well, um, but yeah, that's that's uh, yeah, it's really 
But the, also the idea of Pokemon itself, you know, it's just a great concept. You you have a you have a creature, you throw a ball and you capture it. You know that idea in itself. You know, like it's really simple. Like how they come came up with it. Like the original creator, uh, I think he collected bugs and then wanted to catch it with a net or something. Like in Japan, they have these uh, big ass beetle bugs, these things, and I think that's how he came up with it. And then made more monsters in it and stuff stuff like that. Well, you can uh, search on YouTube and or the interwebs to get more into that. But uh, yeah, man, le like <laughs> good old times. And and sometimes people also on the playground uh, threw the cards like to win um, cards from other people, you know. But the thing is, if you throw them, you damage the cards. So some people had like really damaged cards. But I try to be more not to damage them, you know, because I think it's a waste to throw them at the wall, at a stone wall, and then. You know, damage the cards, but yeah. But Charizard is still my favorite Pokemon, uh, number one. Also, Hunter or Gengar is one of my favorites. Probably Hunter, because but maybe Gengar. I think they're both really cool. Um, and then let's see, from the first gen. Wait, from the first gen. What more do I like the most? I'm not sure actually. Well, let's keep all the other gens then. Also, like Tyranitar, I really like. Um, Hound Doom, the Dark Hound, like, well actually I'm not sure about my 6 Pokemon team yet, but I know for sure that Charizard is my number one favorite, the Charizard family, German, the Charmeleon Charizard, and that's also my starter, um, but yeah, so with the coloring I also used uh, two types of so it. The first time when I went coloring, I also didn't like the first session of coloring this piece. Uh, I, I, I didn't like the colors of it. My ninja chan did when I asked. But for me, I, I don't really liked it. Um, but at the end of the video, you can, you can tell me which one you like more the first one that I colored or the second one. Um, so, also, my ninja chan was a bit uh, testing with Marcus here when she was here. and advised me some colors or a few of them so I also used some of those for the for the wings and the belly for the second session of the coloring and also because Charizard is orange with green and Hunter is purple uh, it needed to be both in there but uh, for this one I, I removed a bit of the green because I think it didn't fit with the purple unless maybe you can make a good combination with it and also for the green fl flame that I used first, with the first session of the color piece, uh, I removed that uh, because I got inspired by the Cubone. <coughs> Cubone, so then just made it well like a normal flame type of color. And also used some inspiration from uh, Spyro the Dragon, that's an old well. PlayStation game uh, character, it's still going on I believe. But it's also purple with yellow and it has the same similar color, so used a little bit of that inspiration to put it in this piece. So I guess it's a sort of Spyro-ish as well, but since Hunter is purple and 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 Charizard is with uh, orange, you know, use those colors as main. Only the green I didn't really put in there because I thought it didn't really fit. But yeah, I'm not sure completely about it if it does, but so far I think the second color yeah. session, I, I like it more, but maybe you don't like, maybe you like the first one better. Um, so yeah ninjas this is the final piece of the Charizard let me know in the comments if you like the first one better or the second one and also your favorite number one Pokemon or your favorite six uh, team of Pokemon also thank you once again to all the patrons that supported once again everybody that watches in any way shape and form to this content if you enjoyed it press thumbs up and if you enjoyed it even more press triple thumbs up yes and also don't forget to subscribe to stay notified the fastest way and ring the bell as well and also for twitch and youtube and all the socials are also down down there in the description so yeah ninjas that is it for this video don't forget the comments for your favorite pokemon your number one how you got introduced with pokemon um and yeah that is it for this piece of the charizard ghost hunter mix yes nice. so yeah ninjas thank you for joining once again hope you also had a great pokemon day weekend and all that stuff thank you for joining once again ninja bucks and see you ninjas next time ninja case, oh. ninja case.